Hi, uh, so what we're looking at in front of us now is Chris Hines' Horns. This is the trombone solo from Chris Hines' Horns Pro Volume 1. Uh, and this is loaded into Cubase in an instance of contact, which is connected to a Rolly Seaboard Rise, which we have on the keyboard stand in front of me. This is the Rise 25, not the uh, Rise 49. So this gives us two octaves of controllers. These uh, key waves allow us to use aftertouch to control expression. They also have a continuous pitch bend, which allows up to two octaves of continuous pitch bending just by sliding your finger up and down the key waves. And it also allows us to control other parameters by uh, pushing backwards and forwards along the key bed. Um, the problem is with the Rolly is that it sends aftertouch uh, as a continuous controller for the dynamics and it sends CC74, which is uh, by General MIDI, the standard for the uh, filter, the brightness of General MIDI sound set, which is part of the MPE protocol, but don't worry about the specifics of that. But what that means is if you load up standard contact instruments like Chris Hines horns um, that tend to use a velocity crossfade to, to the dynamics, and we've got that on the screen here, velocity crossfade, and we've, we've got the options to change that to various other things. Um, the CC controllers are CC controllers, so I can control the dynamics of this using a, uh, a CC, a MIDI CC, but of course they're continuous controllers ranging between number one and number 127, and that doesn't include aftertouch. So you're kind of uh, in a strange place. You're not able to use the full uh, articulations of this keybed uh, with an instrument in contact because it doesn't recognize aftertouch and a lot of these developers aren't using aftertouch because it's kind of problematic uh, to implement in contact. Uh, I've asked and they, they said it's quite complicated. So um, we're stuck with CCs but that's not a problem at all. I'm using Cubase version 8.5 here, the latest version, and Cubase for a very long time has had some brilliant MIDI inserts which allow us to transform the MIDI. So at the moment if I just play some notes on this, There we are, we've got um, a trombone playing, which sounds lovely, um, and as we hit the key, we've just got the same dynamic range. You can see the velocity is bouncing up and down, but velocity just changes the attack on this instrument at the moment. It's not changing any of the um, cross-fading of the dynamics. So I could wiggle a, a, a control lever, and I've got one set up uh, somewhere, but like, here we are, I've got this CC11 here, so... So I could do that if I really wanted to, but I'd love to be able to use the Rolly keybed. So going back to the transformers here, this is a transform we've got set up. And what this transformer is doing is choosing anything that's an aftertouch control, and it's doing some clever maths to it to convert it into CC11. And so anything I do with aftertouch on the Rolly becomes CC11. So if I now turn on that transformer and press uh, one of the key waves on the Rolly, you'll see as I push hard, I can change the articulation, I can change the cross-fading within the, the software, which is uh, just brilliant. So now I've got cross-fading using the Rolly keybed, and I can just kind of tootle up and down. And I've got, um, as I'm pushing on the keys, you've got this uh, lovely velocity crossfading. So that's nice. I like that. You'll also notice that I've got some vibrato on this patch too. Um, I'm using the sustain articulation up here, which doesn't have vibrato. There is a vibrato sustain articulation. I'm just using the non-vibrato sustain articulation because I want to add my own vibrato. Um, Somewhere down in the settings, I keep losing it, here we are, you can change the pitch bend and I've sent it to plus or minus 12. That sounds excessive and if I wobbled the pitch bend lever, it would go absolutely crazy. But the great thing is the Rolly uses pitch bend continuously. So now I can press a key or press one of the key waves and just slide my finger up the keyboard and do a pitch bend. So I'm just going to go from a, a C to an E. And there we are, I can do a... Can do really nice little elegant pitch bends which is great um, saves you having to wiggle your pitch bend lever and it means you can very easily bend between two notes in a given time because you've got complete control over where your finger is on the keyboard um, so that's a really nice function as well so the third functionality i'd like to get out of this instrument 
is a little bit more of the CC controlled. Maybe a bit of vibrato, because at the moment it's all slightly vibrato and instruments don't tend to play vibrato all the time if you've ever played a wind instrument you normally start blowing fairly constantly and then you add some vibrato as the note builds up the rolly allows you to push your fingers up and down the key bed and add cc74 so you could if you really wanted to apply cc74 to your vibrato so let's go back to the vibrato section and here we are the lfo vibrato which is a synthesized vibrato I've set up to CC74 and I've also written a little transformer here that gets me a little bit more control over my CC74. So um, these are described in a different tutorial elsewhere. So um, for the moment we're now using Aftertouch to control CC11 using a transformer in Cubase. We're now using the uh, key wave uh, forward and backwards motion to control uh, CC74 which is then controlling the vibrato within the trombone and of course when you've got contact and you want to use the rolly with your contact instrument you could just save a copy of this instrument maybe call it trombone solo rolly and then you could use that every time you want to use your rolly because uh, the default setup will be the same on the rolly um, the guys from rolly have said to me that maybe they'll be able to reprogram the rolly um, eventually, but I think at the moment CC74 is where they're stuck and where they're going. So now we've got a trombone, and I realize I've been talking a very long time, but now we've got a trombone that can control the dynamics using crossfading with the aftertouch through CC11, and we've got a trombone that's been controlled vibrato using CC74 on the key waves. So let's just play some. I've got the vibrato a little bit intense on there, and I did do some maths on the transformer to try and reduce the vibrato down. You can hear there. That's, whoa, that's well in your face. So if I go back to the transformer here, I can change the maths on this transformer down to uh, where it was before. I have it amplifying the signal, and now... And now you've got a bit more control. So Cubase and Contact together with a Rolly gives you some really good control over your instruments. And I'm assuming that other DAWs have the same kind of MIDI control. So if you've got a Rolly and you want to use Cubase instruments or um, Contact instruments that are limited on their controllers, uh, it works in perfect harmony. <laughs> 